is the tally app a scam part two and i'm very excited about this video because it's our first part two video here on the channel and a lot of you guys actually commented down below and you were like tommy it doesn't work like this some of you guys were actually like it does work like this or they charge us this much interest rate but i did find a similar pattern within all the comments and all the people that actually responded to the last video of whether tally is a scam or it isn't and here is the main idea the main idea is that a lot of people the ones that i commented first i think his name is beltran beltran he said that he has tally and Tally pays off the entire balance and he really likes it. Now, I discovered a few things about Tally because I did my research this time because I wanted to make sure that I came in with the facts. Last video that I did, it was basically me telling you how Tally could work possibly and why it might not be as beneficial and how it could only work basically in two ways. They either pay off your entire balance or maybe they just pay off, you pay them and they give you a credit line and then you, they pay them, right? And I was exactly right because that's exactly how it works. Now, I asked Beltran Beltran like three times like, bro, I get the interest rate is better than how you used to have it before because on average it's 24.99 APR a year, but what's the difference? Like, what's the main difference? And he said, no, I just like it, blah, blah, blah. He never gave me an exact figure. Now, someone else came in and, and this guy tells me the exact interest rate is actually paying for tally and it's 16 and it's 15.99 APR, which is okay compared to what he used to pay, which was 24.99%. And another guy that commented said, um, um, Kay Anderson, he said, don't listen to this guy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And the tally is good. And, and within the two first minutes, and he said something about Donald Trump is being fake news, blah, blah, blah. I stopped reading after that. I commented something. Of course, he didn't respond because he doesn't really know what he's talking about. But to Beltran, Beltran, and Sasha, I have this to say, right? Tally is a very good app in the sense that they market it very good but for what they actually are doing you remember you gotta remember this right tally is not a credit card so when you're comparing it to the interest rates of a credit card to a company like this of course you're gonna see like oh my gosh i'm getting such a better deal but in reality you're not because what tally actually is is a constant it's a debt consulate what is it a debt consolidation okay i don't know how to say that word so i'm gonna say this tally is basically a debt liquidation company right so what it do is they refinance your debt whatever you owe you owe three credit cards they give you a credit line and with that credit line they actually pay off everything or they pay off like slowly or whatever so you never miss a, 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 a late payment but that's not a good idea and i'm going to talk about why that's not a good idea later in the video so now you're probably telling me tommy it's a good deal like sasha for example telling me tommy it's a good deal because i went from 24.99 percent apr to um 15.99 which is very good right and I have this to say, no, it isn't. And I came with facts this time because for the job that Tally's doing, they're charging way too much. You know what I mean? And I personally didn't even like, 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 like say this when I was making the video because I wasn't even thinking that far ahead. I was just thinking like, hey, it's a cool app. It helps you with like a lot of things. But now that I did my research and now that I actually know what's going on in the app and you guys gave me some feedback, I can actually go in and dive deep. Okay, so Tally is a liquidation company. Remember, like I said, they pay off your debt, they refinance it, they give you a new interest rate that's lower. And let me tell you this, right? I get letters in the mail literally like all the time of people and companies telling me, Tommy, let me pay off your entire credit card and you can pay 4.99%. And here's the reason why, it's because of my credit score. My credit score is really good, so I get those offers, right? And if you have a bad credit score, like for example, Sasha, I presume like your credit score is probably like around like maybe like like lower than 700, like maybe around like 600 or something, like like maybe like low 600, something like that. And I say this because I went on the Tally app and I went on the Tally website also and I looked at the entire description of how the app works and they offer, I wrote it down, they offer 7.9% to 19.99%. So if you got a 15.99%, it's either because you have a pretty like not so good credit score or maybe because they just said like, oh my gosh, you pay 24%. So we're just lower to 15.99%. That's pretty good, right? It isn't. And here's the reason why. The only thing that's good about Tally is just that it's a fancy company and it, it, it really doesn't make any sense. And let me tell you this, right? Before I get into the real depth of this video, if Tally is... There's two ways of doing this. Remember, they either pay off your entire debt or they give you a credit line and with that credit line, you can pay off your credit cards on time always you don't want to do that. And here's the reason why. If you have to pay the minimum on your credit card, which is what they're doing, paying the minimum on your credit card all the time, you're paying interest because the minimum on a credit card is usually just the interest of it. And if you don't know, do some research. And second of all, if you're paying your credit card 24.99% a year, which is like around 2% a month, 
and then you're paying tally 15.99% for just paying your credit cards. Guess what? Now you're paying like 35%, no, like 40% in interest rates when you don't have to do that. You can just pay off your bills. But if tally is going ahead and they're paying off your entire credit card balance, boom, wow. This is an amazing app. I just went from 24% APR to 15.99% APR or a 7.99 APR. Listen, it's still not good. And you might and you might be telling me, Tommy, what do you mean? And it's not your fault. It's just good marketing. And we are humans. We fall for these things and it's just fine. And if I didn't have the financial literacy that I have and I wasn't forced to make a video every single day about finance and do a whole bunch of research, I'll probably just be getting tally and just having them pay my credit cards off. It's normal. Don't worry about it. But here's the thing, right? There are a lot of alternatives out there and I get letters in the mail literally like all the time. Like I think like three times a week of people telling me, Tommy, we'll pay your credit cards off for 4.99%. And that's the average. That's an average for people that have like a pretty good credit score. Like that's an average. That's pretty good. You know what I mean? That's not even like the best, best. So if you're getting paid, if I can pay off my credit card for 4.99% and what they do is basically they round up all the debt that you have. So for example, say I have Say I owe $15,000, which is not true. I owe much, much more. And if you watch some of my videos, you know that I leverage all my debt. And if you don't know what that means, subscribe to the channel because you're going to need to know what it means. And I'm going to make future videos about that, right? So if I owe $15,000 and let's compare it, right, to one of these companies that I'm talking about that pay like 4.99%. These are banks, credit unions, and money lenders that are online, like online banking or whatever. If I owe $15,000 and they're offering me 4.99%, right, APR a year, for like five years, right? And they usually give you like a timeline so you have to finish it off in like five years, which is actually very good because you have to finish it off. But I think Tally just gives you like a like a balance and you can carry that balance for the rest of your life. Tally is basically like a credit card that's not a credit card that's giving you a balance transfer without charging you a, a, a balance transfer fee. And here's the thing, right? So let's do the comparison. Let's do the comparison because I, I love comparisons because I know you guys love comparisons, right? So basically, if the credit union is charging me 4.99%, which is like 0.41% like a month or whatever, when you divide it by 12 because there's 12 months in a year, I get charged $61 and 50 cents in interest every single month right and if we calculate it for the next like five years or whatever they basically make like three thousand six hundred and ninety dollars and i owed like fifteen thousand so i get to pay it off and then what they usually do is they take the capital and the capital is what you originally owed the fifteen thousand they divide it by like um five times twelve which is sixty they divide it by sixty for sixty years and then they do like minimum payments like that right it's perfect. It's fine. I know that like went over your head. If it did, don't worry about it. I'm going to center it back down right now. And here's the thing, right? If Tally is charging you just a little bit more in that percentage, that can go from $61, right? And this is the minimum, right? So you have to have like near perfect credit to get this. So while the credit union is charging me $60, Tally is charging me $100. And that's the minimum, the minimum interest rate they charge. Because I looked on the website, it's between 7.99% to 19.99%. So Sasha, for example, you're paying 15.99% to tally, right? To do this, just to get rid of your debt. Well, guess what? This is your, this is your number. This is your number. And, it, and it's scary. Your number is 1.33%. That means you're paying tally 1.33% every single month in interest for the debt that you owe them. So say for example, you owe them as much as I do, which is $15,000 and they're going to charge you one point, what was it? 1.55, I think 1.33%, right? 1.33%. So they're going to charge you $200 in interest. That's how much money they're making off of you, off of your pocket, just for letting you use it. So my main point about Tally is Tally is not a terrible app. Tally is a great app that has great marketing that use marketing schemes to kind of like get people that don't know that much about finances and everything like that to pay them a higher rate for a job that's not really meant to be paid that much. You're just getting rid of your debt. You don't have to pay 7.99%. You don't have to pay 15.99%. It's still pretty high. I get it. I get it. I get it. Your credit card is 24.99%. So you're probably telling me, Tommy, it's still high. I just need to cut it down and I can't afford to pay that. Guess what, bro? Listen, the main idea is this, right? Whenever it comes to paying my, off my debts, right? I, I focus on one thing. I focus on one thing, right? And it's paying it off. Just focus on paying it off. And listen, right? There are a lot of ways to do what Tally does in your own way for free. And this is how I did it, right? For example, I personally owed like um, $5,000 to one credit card, right? 
and they were going to start charging me interest. So what I did was I opened up a new credit card with Chase. It's called Chase Freedom, and they do free balance transfers. If you don't know what that is, you could go over there. You can sign up for the card. If you if you um if you qualify, then you get it. Then you can do the same thing I did, which is fine. And I'm not promoted by them. I'm not associated with them, but I'm just giving you the idea because they helped me out, and I want to make sure I can help you out in some way. So I owed five thousand dollars. I was gonna I was gonna be forced to pay twenty four point nine nine percent, which is like two percent. Two percent of five thousand dollars is a lot of money. If you don't know. So I said, okay, I'm going to open up this promotional credit card, which is going to charge me zero APR for the next 15 months. And I said zero. So they're not charging me any interest. I just have to pay a minimum balance of the capital or whatever. So they can actually make some type of money, not really make money. Cause I'm just paying back exactly what I owe, but they use that money. You know how banks work, right? They use whatever money you pay them to lend it out. So they're making money and profits off of that, but it's not really costing you anything. Cause you still have to pay back either way. So I ended up taking that $5,000 and I'm paying it off now, literally without having to pay any interest. And guys, if you're trying to pay tally, if you're trying to pay the off your credit card, do not fall for these little apps. Like, listen, it's all repackaging. It's all repackaging. And I believe this, right? I believe that the more people fall for these things, the bigger market these apps get, the bigger they get, the big institutions like banks, credit unions, you're going to start making these apps. You're going to start making competitive apps for all this stuff. And it's going to be like, it's going to be for the worst for us. Because if we can get 4.99% or maybe, and I got some other statistics here, by the way, that I want to show you. Like the average for a bank to like get rid of your debt, they charge you like maybe like 7.25%. Like if you have a pretty good credit score, if you have an average credit score is like 10.25%. If you have a bad credit score is 19.65%. And for a credit union, it's like if you have a good credit score, it's 6.99%. If you have a average score, it's 9.050%, which is still pretty good. And if you have bad credit, they, give, they charge you like 17.77%, which is still pretty good. And if you have an online lender, you can use like, um, I think it's like loans online. What is it? Like money lender? What is it? Lending, lending club. You can use lending club online and they can actually pay off your debt too for a lower rate also. But if you do like an online lender, they charge you like 9%. 17% if you have bad credit and if you have good credit for them, it's like 6%. This is what I mean, man. This is, this is what I mean. This is what I don't like. I don't like when companies try to take advantage of people out there that don't have like the any idea of what they're actually getting into. Listen, it's all repackaging. And what I mean by this is banks, credit unions, online lenders, they've already been offering these type of services for the past like 15, 20, 40, 50 years. Like as long as debt has been like an existent in the economy, like these people have been in the system. You know what I mean? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. But now since they know that like, we're in the digital age, so everyone is like more like on the millennials. They like apps, they like simple things. They like pink, they like green. They like how things pop. And, and they do this. They make these apps, these silly apps, and they use like all these little systems. And by the way, a lot of these apps that you like purchase and all these things, and they offer you like a little bit like, like less money or whatever, they have like terrible, terrible customer service. And that's honestly why I like like big companies like Chase. I call in three minutes. I'm on the line with someone like this is another app that I'm going to do a review on for next video. You want to subscribe so you can actually see this video and they have like a 45 minute wait so you can get on the phone with someone to close your account or to ask any simple question. A lot of these companies that are online, you can chat with them. They won't give you any direct answers. You can call and they won't like, like they won't pick up the call. They'll be like, make you wait for like 45 minutes. And even my favorite app guys, when it comes to finance, my favorite app, when it comes to finance is Acorn. Everyone knows that. And even with Acorn, I sometimes find myself waiting like 10, 15 minutes and it's because it's new and they don't know how to really manage everything. And they're trying to cut costs here and they're trying to like do this here. And the main focus is customer service. So to end this video, I might have to make a part three if people keep commenting about it and you guys have more questions, but Tally is a great app. And I do recommend Tally to some people that have like, if you have like terrible credit and you find yourself in a situation where you're just like stuck and you don't know any, and you have no, like, like literally no options after you apply to credit unions, you apply to banks and you did every single thing that I told you in this video and they all rejected you. If you did all of that, and no one accepted you, which is highly unlikely because everyone wants to take money from your pocket. Believe it or not, I'll take some money, <laughs> but you know, like everyone wants your money. So if you fail at all these things, applying for banks, applying for loans online, applying for like, um, like credit units, if you, if none of those people accept you, then I recommend Tally. If not, I don't recommend it. Guys, my name is Tommy Bryson. If you don't know me, you're going to know me. I'll see you guys next time in the next video. And please, please, please like, comment, subscribe, and Make sure, make sure to comment this time because I want to hear what you guys have to say. 
I want to hear what your opinion is, and I'll see you guys next time in the next video, and I'll see you guys later, and I'll, I'll say that already. I'll see you guys later. Peace. You've got to start it.